everyone, my name is Jaber and welcome back to Lynn. I'm ready to fucking die inside. Alright, I'm already halfway there. Hey Lynn, you finally woke up! And good god, you look awful! Who the fuck are you? Morning, Sleeping Beauty. Did you have a good night? I don't know who you are! Oh, um... I blink. I think I might be staring. There's somebody in the kitchen I didn't expect to see the sleepy Monday morning. Just being awake is unusual enough, but it's the person sitting beside her that really makes me stare. Oh, I didn't even notice it. The fucking stress level's at 50% already. Damn. It's a woman with dark skin and shockingly pink hair. What? <laughs> it's like I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> Her face is comprised almost 50% of metal. Not really? We got like one, two, three piercings there. What? She has enough piercings to set off the security system in any airport across the world. Look at how many piercings this chick has. She only has 30. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't even count the number of piercings she has. She has three! She has three! Well, yeah, but I'm pretty sure she only has three. <sighs> she doesn't even have any ears pierced. It's just on her face. What? There are probably almost definitely more that I can't see. Okay, maybe. Maybe. I'll give you that. But still. There's the ones that you can see, and those are, that's, that's three. This woman is called Vaughn, short for, how the fuck am I supposed to say that? Okay, do you know how to say this word? Come here. Come here, help me. I don't know how to say this name. It's that one, right there. Vaughn? Yvonne? Yvonne? Yvonne. People need to spell their names weird. Why do people sp spell their names weirdly? This game was made before, a while, a few years ago, probably. Short for Yvonne. She's Jazz's older, kind of creepy friend. Vaughn uh, hardly ever comes over. Dad doesn't like her. He thinks she's bad company. I'm not sure if I agree or not. Vaughn is pretty cool, but she's also rather scary. I think I last saw Vaughn four months ago. She said she'd become a, a Wiccan. She asked me if I wanted her to read my palm. Oh my god, that reminds me of my Wiccan friend. I told you about that, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, it was fucking weird. I had some weird experiences with that person. And I think she added me on Facebook, but it was under a different name, so I'm not conf I'm conf I don't know if it's actually her or not. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, because she used to go by Cheyenne. And now she like added me back. She added me on there as like Liz or something or Lizzie. Yeah, I'm just like these are both terrible names. Yeah, like at least we call. It, I used to call her Shay or Shay. I think I call her Shay. Yeah, like when we're we're friends in middle school. Anyways, I don't really believe in palm reading, but Vaughn is very, very convincing, and I was a little afraid that if she saw the Im imminent end of my life in my hands, it might come true. Um, hey there, Vaughn. <clears throat> I give her a shy little wave. Vaughn laughs. I don't know if I want to impress her or try to hide from her. The two conflicting emotions were inside my head. There's, that's probably one clinging to the side of the kitchen door like a lizard. Anyways. <clears throat> Sorry, there's so much distractions in the background. <laughs> it's bad enough that I just got out of bed, but I'm still wearing my... Pajamas. That's a weird way of spelling pajamas, but I guess it's British, so whatever. My hair is all mussed up, too. 
I'm gonna give her a bit edgy, edgy voice. Are you ready for my edgy voice? And what's new with you? <laughs> Jess is right, you don't look so hot. That was it. What do you think? Okay. I gotta really get into it. Oh, nothing really. Just bad dreams. Yeah? Must have been pretty awful. You look like a zombie. Thank you. Coming from a woman like Vaughn, I think that might count as some sort of compliment. Maybe? Is it just because of exams? I hear you have your GCSEs in a few weeks. It could be, uh, it's a little stressful. Gotta be hard com being the smart one of the family. Oh, I'm not really, not really. You're smarter than me! Well, that's not exactly hard, is it? Hey, don't be a bitch! Jess tries to give Vaughn a shove, but Vaughn avoids her easily. Being quite heavily pregnant. <laughs> quite heavily pregnant. With a round stomach like a cannonball, Jess can't really count her. All she can do is tut. And why aren't you at school, little miss? It's gone nine. Um, it's study leave. Oh, I remember that. You always get study leave around about the last month of year 11, huh? Yeah. That takes me back. It's been so long, I almost forgot. I, um, I'm meant to stay at home and study, I guess. That's why I'm in my pajamas. I don't need to get dressed yet. At least I didn't think I did. If I'd known Vaughn was coming over, I might have cleaned myself up a bit. Well, don't stay up too late. You'll get panda eyes. Despite being so scary looking, Vaughn's actually pretty nice. She did let Jazz crash on her sofa for a few weeks after that whole debacle with Dad. Then again, Jazz did get knocked up at a party and Vaughn that party Vaughn held at her house with all her weird goth friends, so maybe she felt responsible? Ugh. Whatever. I don't really understand Jen's relationship with Vaughn or how they became friends in the first place, but it's not my place to pry. All I know is Jazz and Vaughn have been friends for almost six years. Vaughn's 27, I think, so they must have met when Jazz was 13 and she was 21? That's a bit weird, but they've always gone on pretty well. I don't think they're dating, but Jazz likes to make jokes. I'm pretty sure they're nothing more than jokes, but with Jazz, it can be hard to tell. Oh, uh, you know, you just like me. You know, I, I, I like being a lesbian with my best friend. It's, it's all cool here. Right? Yeah. He gets it. You guys get it. This girl doesn't get it. I glanced at the bread bin. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Are bread bins still a thing? What? Are bread bins still a thing? No. No? Man, I think I remember when I had a bread bin. That was years ago. And we never used it. I think that's like part of the house or something. I don't know. I just remember having a bread bin. But I think we got rid of it. This is outdated. Damn. I almost forgot those were a thing. No, I just forgot those were a thing. Damn. I glance at the bread bin. The plastic bag of Warburton's half and half is all but empty, with only two slices remaining. As I thought, they're the crust. God damn it. Thanks, Jazz. Thanks, Vaughn. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm not hungry anyway. I sigh, closing the bread bin with a dull flood. Jazz blinks. Don't you want to eat anything? No, I'm fine. You'll get sick if you don't eat. You're already, you're already so tiny. I'll be all right. Memories of my dreams still linger in the corners of my mind. I'm afraid that if I put any food into my mouth, it'll suddenly transform into a squirming mess of spindly legs. Ew. Ah, one percent stress. Or fifty-one percent stress. Ugh. Ugh. I feel- I still feel sick. I need to get out of here. The kitchen is stifling. I'm actually going to see Susie. Oh, don't go see Susie. She's a con. 
<laughs> She's a bitch. Hey. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's I'm not. The only thing that's oh. Really? No. Okay. <laughs> no, but like Susie is like dating some like older Japanese guy only for his money. Yeah. It's creepy. Yeah, Are you going to study together? What? I'm, I'm, oh. I'm reading the game. Sorry. It's okay. I love you. Something like that. All right, whatever. Jazz gives me a lazy wave, her free hand resting against the bulge of her belly. She always seems to have one hand pressed against her belly nowadays. It's just like, you know, it's like there, you rest upon it, you know, whatever. Maybe she's trying to communicate with the alien life form growing slowly inside her. Well, that's a fun way to look at it. I prefer to look at it as more of a parasitic twin. Or maybe she's trying to stop it from bursting out. Ew. Gross. That's a scary thought. Then why would you think it? Even scarier than Vaughn. Have a good one, Lynn. Don't stay out too late. If Dad gets back and you're not here, he'll go ballistic. I know. One percent dress. I know only too well. Wee. How long have I been recording so far? Oh, 11 minutes. Okay, can I can keep going. It's another announcer. <clears throat> we are sorry to announce that the train departing from Platform 2 to London Waterloo was delayed by approximately... That's my announcer voice, by the way. Oh, it's pretty good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I heave a sigh and glance at the electronic display board. The train times blink up, bright orange against black. Susie lives a couple of stops away. It should only take five minutes to get there, give or take. But there's some kind of holdup. None of the trains are running on time. For London, that's actually pretty rare. People always joke that it'll be the end of the world before trains start arriving on time. But the trains and buses in London are pretty punctual. Even when they aren't, there are so many other trains and buses that, that that's not how you that's not how you say buses. That's not the that's not the... I'm pretty sure that's not the plural of buses. Isn't there like two S's in buses when it's like B and no, S's? S's? That's so weird. Yeah. Why did I think that it was wrong? Yeah, that's true. Is that follow similar routes, it doesn't really matter. I wonder if somebody threw themselves onto the track. Ooh, that's gross. Ah, one, another stress point. When there's a big delay like this, that's usually the case. It's a fact of life I've been aware of ever since I was five. That's actually kind of depressing. I frown, tapping my foot against the platform. A bag of chip sticks <laughs> rolls past me. The, they bounce by in the breeze. The packaging glimmers in the sun. Glimmering in the sun. There are enough bins around. Why do people litter? Are they really that compelled to cause petty crimes? Oh well, it's got nothing to do with me. You're part of the problem. You're part of the problem if you don't pick up fucking litter. I glance up and down the platform again. It's a lot quieter than it usually is. I managed to mis mis miss rush hour. The businessmen I'm so used to are rarely at, already at work. There are just a handful of stragglers like me, mostly dressed in casual clothes. Most of the pedestrians milling about, glancing at the train times, seem to be around my age. They're probably in year 11, too. We're all on steady leave until the beginning of June. And speaking of people my age, I see a girl. A very familiar girl. Yes, we fucking know. It's Lynn with an E. We get it. We know it's Lynn with an E. We can see her. Fuck. A girl who looks... Oh my god, what? This is one thing I hate about this game. It always is like, oh, a girl that looks exactly like me. You know? They always has to be like, oh, it's a very familiar girl. It's like, we get it. We know. It's not even... Yeah, that's true. This is a very stupid thing. I mean, 
Okay. A girl who looks a lot like me, but at the same time, decidedly isn't. Oh yeah. She was in my dream last night watching me with cold and impersonal eyes while I squirmed. No, she had tears in her eyes when she was watching you. Like, damn. Like the fucking- maybe they got the sprite out wrong, but she was definitely crying. She looks tidy and presentable as per usual. Her black hair is neat and straight. That's kinda- kinda wavy. She's wearing casual clothes, but she manages to make them look sophisticated, like a model in a fashion magazine. I wonder how expensive her clothes are. They probably cost much, much more than mine. <laughs> Whatever. Lynn, with an eat, catches me staring and blinks. She looks at me, tilting her head to the one side. Is she going to come over? Does she want to say hello? I hope she doesn't. I'd rather swallow a sewing needle than speak to her. What the fuck is wrong with you? Damn, woke up on the wrong side of the bed? Jeez. I never talked to Lynn in school. I certainly don't want to talk to her outside of it. Why is she at the train station at this time anyway? She doesn't have any friends to visit. Why are you assuming shit? I know, because she hasn't been in the same form group as me ever since year seven. Maybe Miss Madly thought we'd get along since we so look so familiar, so similar. And I've never seen her talk to anyone. She just sits by herself staring out into space. Not that she seems to mind. What a weird girl. I really can't stand her. Well, I can't stand your attitude. In fact, I think I hate her. I think I hate you. But I've said that already, haven't I? Yes, you have. You said that so many times and I'm getting sick of it. <laughs> oh, why do you have an eyeball on your fucking... That's weird. Oh, God. Oh, I don't like this music. That means something bad's gonna happen. Oh, well, too bad because I'm gonna end this episode here. It's got 18 minutes. Ugh. If you guys somehow managed to enjoy this, leave a like down below, leave a comment down below, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't, ring that notification bell, and remember, stay safe. Bye-bye!